Hello everyone, it is Iverport, so welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. Today you guys are joining me on day number 5 of the Boom Beach Challenge Week. Today is going to be a rough day, because today Colonel Gerard is here. Now, for those of you guys could have kind of guessed this, I'm using only Zookas. Because I have to take down Colonel Gerhard for the top prototype defenses, because like, you know, uh, regardless of this challenge week, the quest to top 50 still goes on. And I'm right now doing pretty well, got 870 victory points, but I need those proto uh, prototype defenses, so that's kind of why I decided to uh, use Zookas on day number 5. So uh, that's what we're going to be running today. Of course, a little bit later today there will be another episode taking down bases with only the Zookas as well. That should be pretty interesting to give you guys a little update about what we have been doing yesterday i had about four million of every single resource i pumped them all into this rocket launcher that right now is going to level 11 i think the max out level is level 13 so we are definitely getting there and the upgrades are going pretty nicely so let's see what colonel Gerard is going to be all about today i woke up really late i i i literally went to bed at like 3 a.m and then i was like oh colonel Gerard's coming at 5 a.m well uh uh whatever i'm just gonna sleep not set any alarm clock and then when i woke up i had some errands to do so right now it is 5 43 p.m as i'm recording this so uh, in europe of course right now it's later than in the united states but let's see what we got oh this might be trouble for um for the uh, zookas so we got some laser beams the level one um, we got some flamethrowers. We need to look for a location where we can snipe the headquarters off. That's going to be the most interesting and important part. So, uh, considering the fact that there's a lot of sniper towers here and the cannons over there, um, they don't really do too much damage onto the Zookas even if they hit them. They hit them one at a time. We might as well ju just use this route over here to make our way up there. Then we got um, a Shock Blaster 3. We got two rocket launches, which are definitely going to be hurting us. And then we got two laser beams at each side and some flamethrowers there. That means that we need, um, I think we need five shocks here. One for the shock blaster. Uh, one for the rocket launchers, that's two. Then for the laser beams. I'm, I'm in no way, shape or form ever going to be getting these all together. So we need five shocks to do this. So, um... Is there a way to do it any different? Because five shocks, I don't think I'm gonna have the energy to do that. Um, I think I know actually. I think if we just go right in between here, just in the front over here, just uh, outside of those mines here, we can snipe from there. They're gonna be reaching from there. Then we have one last shock for the flamethrowers. I think that's one way to do this as well. So then we still need to shock these laser beams and these laser beams, the shock launch uh, rocket launchers, and the shock blaster. And also the mortar while I'm at it, because the mortar, I almost forgot about the mortar. So, we're gonna be going right, right here in between. Now we need to take care of this. Some dropping, some critters over there. But we need some boosting, because obviously I'm gonna be dying otherwise. So, I'm gonna be boosting up my troop damage. And I'm gonna be boosting up my gumbo masterpiece. And I'm gonna be boosting up my gumbo guardian. I usually don't do that, but for this one I really want to, because I want to have as many energy as I need um, to kind of compensate. I got a 108 gunboat energy right now, and that isn't a whole lot, considering I need to smoke as well. Oh my, I might be in trouble here, I have no idea. Let's see how, what we're going to be doing here. Let's go ahead and attack, and uh, let's try this one out right now. So we want to be taking care of this. Let's actually get some critters in here to get rid of all of these mines over here. There we go, that is all gone. So then, how do we go? Um, we need to flare. If we select them, where can we drop them? So we're going to be dropping them at the edge. But first things first, I need to smoke here. So I'm going to go triangle. going to go as safe as possible here, guys. And then, going to go right here. Hopefully you guys are going to be fine. No! Oh, that's okay. That seems fine to be. Moving away immediately to smoke. I don't have a lot of time. Can you guys make it up there? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. We got hit quite a bit there. We lost. We're still there. We're still there, though. We're still there, though. Let's start moving, guys. Girls. Let's start moving, girls. So now we got 60 gumbo energy. And we need to get in there and then flare to there. So now we need to shock things. I'm going to do everything within my power to get them out at the same time. Which I did... 
Nice. And then... Oh, no. We didn't get the Shock Blaster. No. I didn't have enough Gumboat Energy. But that should be good. This should be good. Oh, my God. That laser beam hurts. We took it down halfway, though. Okay. So, we cannot get the Shock Blaster. That is fine, actually. That's completely fine. I'm not too worried about that. Oh, man. That was kind of scary, though, because I missed out on one shock. And luckily for me, it was the one with the shock blast and the mortar, not the laser beams. The laser beams, jeez. Rocket launch the laser beams, completely deadly. Let's try this one out again. Man, I need more gumbo. I swear, I need more gumbo. But we took it halfway down, so we should be good, right? We should be good. Oh, this time around, I can actually shock all four of them because I don't have to drop critters. That actually costs me quite a bit. So let's go ahead and smoke this. And then go here. Please don't walk out. Please don't walk outside of it. Gather up together. Nice. And then you're gonna walk your way up there. Those are gonna be out of sight there, it seems like. From the looks of it. Yeah, a couple of them. Like, three. Four, maybe. Dangerous. It's hard to see exactly where the smoke is located at. Oh, we got fried. Now, this is just, for me, more of a test than anything. Because I'm not really used to using this attack strategy. Oh, we can actually shock another one and have enough energy. We're going to be taking this one out. I swear we're going to be doing this. Take it out. Take it out. Two attacks. Come on. I want to do it in two attacks. And, oh, the laser beams. What power. What kind of a force is that? That is so crazy. Let's scout to see how much health this has. 43k. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's do this. This should be something. Um, what is the cheapest? What does it take the longest time? Um, Azukas. I need Zookas later on anyway. We might as well charge him anyway. But we're just going to get only one boat. I'm gonna enjoy this so much. Let's do one final check up here, guys. <laughs> yes, we're gonna do this. All right, here we go. Ultimate barrage! Boom, 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 boom. Got him. Got it. Only Zuka's baby. It was boosted up. Um. Okay, here's the thing. We're awesome. <laughs> That's a, this is awesome. We did it, guys. First time attempt with Zuka's actually doing for real and taking out Colonel Gearheart. Whew, reassuring because we got them power rods. I needed those. So yeah, that's gonna be doing it for this Colonel Gearheart today. Today, Colonel Gearheart is really easy. Um, I'm not very strong offensively when it comes down to statues. So if you got maxed out Zuka's, it's gonna be a breeze for you. I'm pretty sure that if you got maxed out Zuka's, your statues are better than mine. Um, especially when you boost up. Some of you definitely have more damage uh, statues. I only have one extra Gumboat Energy statue. So, it kind of explains. I had to boost up to compensate for that. So, yeah. So, that's going to be doing it for this episode of Boomies. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Colonel Gihar takedown. I'm so happy I took her down. You guys got no idea. Make sure you tune in a little bit later today with another episode of Boom Beach where we're going to be taking down player bases with the Zookas nonetheless. And I hope that you guys enjoyed. That being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, make sure that if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. And that being said, this has been Reverse for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one. I, I said Boom Beach wrong. How funny is that? 